Hello, today I will show you how we can automatically generate the dates of the month based on the name of the sheet in Excel. This can be used for time sheet capture and other purposes where you might need a calendar. So what you're seeing here is Excel sheet where for January we say that we see that there are dates till the 31st. If I want to create this for February all I do is copy this to a new sheet and I change the name of the sheet to February and it's done. As you can see the dates are till the 28th. If I want to change it to April, I just change it to April and now the dates are till the 30th. So let me show you how we do that. So the first thing that we need to do is we want to be able to take the name of the sheet and bring it into the sheet so we can apply formulas on it. So let's go to a new sheet. To bring the name into the sheet we use a function called cell. So I say cell and I've passed the first parameter as file name and the second one any cell in the sheet so let's say C1 as you can see it has brought the name of the Excel which is calendar.xlsx and the name of the sheet so we call this name of the sheet to extract the sheet name we want to first find the position of this close bracket and then we can use that to extract the remaining piece. So position of close bracket we use the find function. So we say find the close bracket in cell B2 which returns the position 18 and to get sheet name we are going to say from character 19 give us the whole text so we use the mid function for that so mid of b1 starting from c1's value plus 1 which is 19 and we can give a large value after that which doesn't matter how long it is as long as fix it fits all the text so let's say 200 so as you can see it gave us the name sheet 2 so if i go to the bottom and change the name of the sheet to February or Feb it will change to the same name now to get the first day of the month from the value February we can use a function called date value for that function I need to pass a value in the format 1 hyphen Feb so this value that we pass is dependent on the settings on your computer the regional settings so in my case I pass it this way maybe in your case you may have to pass it with a feb space one so to create the string so we're going to use the date value function where we first pass the fixed text one and the hyphen and we join the result of the sheet name using ampersand sign which is the b3 cell which gives us a value now this one is a numeric value we format it into a date so it is visible as a date value so i go to format cells and i change the type to a date and there you go so that's first of february 2014 to get the last date of the month we use a function called EO month so EO month which is end of the month and I pass this date to it as a parameter and a second parameter as 0 which gives me a date I can use a format painter to copy the format from the cell above to this one which gives me 28th of the second. So 
so now that we have the first of the month and the last of the month we able to now build a sequence of dates so let's say in cell E I want to say dates for the first cell which is E2 I just refer to the first date of the month which in this case is B5 and that brings it across for the next cell now and the subsequent cells we want to make sure we want to that we copy the value from the top and add one to it to get the next date but it must not go past the last date of the month so we're going to use the if function for that and we say if this value or the previous value is less than the last date of the month then we must take the previous value and add one to it otherwise we make it a blank the b6 we're going to change it to absolute reference by putting dollar signs so as we copy the formula down the values don't change you can do that by just pressing the f4 key also and we again take the format of the top one and we paste it on here so that's a second to copy it down it's a matter of dragging this one right down so let's copy it down to 30 or more cells and as you can see it has brought data only till the 28th of Feb the columns after that have a formula but it is blank so if I now go and change this month to a Jan it will populate the columns so if you want to now use this and we don't want to show the calculations all we need to do is takes the columns A to D right click and we hide it so there you go that's your dates for January to copy it to February all you do is go and insert a new sheet or oh, sorry in this case we go and copy we say create a copy just before sheet 3 and we call it Feb and there's your dates for Feb which is up to the 28th for more tips and tricks in Excel visit my website www.lifeautomated.co.za thank you